Okay, so now that we have the base of our iPhone modeled out, what we need to go ahead and do, or what we're going to go ahead and start doing, is we're going to start detailing the model. And the easiest way for us to go ahead and do this is going to be front to back. So in the front here, you obviously see the screen, um, the speaker, and the bottom button for navigating through your phone, I would say. And if you look at our geometry, our underlying geometry, or our geometry in general, just isn't um, matching what we need here perfectly. So we need to go ahead and add an edge loop, you know, or add edge loops for the screen, which would be the actual body of the screen um, for the body of the the button as well, or for where the button will actually be poking through the phone, and also here for the speaker and um, I'm not too sure what this would actually be, I will, but we'll just call it, you know, something that's attached to the speaker. And <clears throat> the easiest way for us to go ahead and do this first is we need to make sure that all this geometry is actually going to line up properly. So let's go ahead and just double select this edge here at the top. And we're going to go ahead and move this up a little bit so it's at the bottom of the, at the speaker box. And then we're going to go down here to the bottom. And we're going to double select the top edge there. And we're going to go ahead and move this up so that this is going to match the the button. And we're not going to adjust this because we're going to go ahead and just add two edge loops or a couple extra edge loops here. And then we'll start detailing our phone. So let's go into our insert edge loop tool, which is in our polygons menu. And under the edit mesh pullout it's our insert edge loop tool and there's nothing here specific of you know any of the settings that I've changed these are all default settings but just to make sure you know go into your tool and hit the reset tool and this will reset all the settings so now that we have our tool selected let's go ahead and add our edge loop for the screen here for the bottom part of the screen for the top part of the screen here as well and we're going to go ahead and add one here in the middle for the speaker and then we want to do one on one side here and here you can either go ahead and delete one half and then remirror it or just simply add an edge loop on the other side there but we also need to add an edge loop here for whatever that would be and on either side there as well so now that we have all of our edge loops actually pushed into the model or added into the model of how we're going to go ahead and add the detail into our model, we can go ahead and start cutting in some of the detail here. So first things that, we, that I want to do is I want to go ahead and back into face selection mode. I'm going to go ahead and select the back faces of the model and only the back faces. And I'm going to go up here to mesh extract and I'll go ahead and open the tool rollout here just to make sure I reset all the settings hit apply and now you can see that we're gonna have two different pieces of the model so we'll go ahead and add the back here to its own layer and just call this back iPhone body just to make sure that we keep organized and we know what's what here and now we're gonna go ahead and in the face selection mode here and we're going to go ahead and start selecting some vertices and we're going to basically start shaping these vertices needed and we'll go ahead and start here with the bottom of the button just being mindful that we select if we select one on one side we definitely have to select the other ones on the other side here and I need to add an edge loop here in the middle I'll just go ahead and try and flatten this out here and where's the blue thing there? The green. I'm just was just looking for the green box so I could flatten that out perfectly. And I want to just put that in the middle so it's going to be easier for us to go ahead and add all that detail in there. Just scale that out a little bit. Do the same thing here for the top. Just pull them down, scale them in, and 
just try and shape them as we need. And this just takes a little bit of time and patience to go ahead and get all this stuff laid out properly. I'm gonna do the same thing here for the for the speaker. Just trying to line it all up properly. It's just basically adjusting verts and just trying to be a little bit careful. Okay, so now that we have those cut in, what I want to go ahead and do is we have to <coughs> look at the model and think, well, there's definitely going to be underlying geometry underneath of it. Okay, so this would mainly be the, the main portion of the glass, and then there would be an actual body part underneath of that glass and then there would be another part for the actual screen of the iPhone. So we need to make three separate pieces from this one main piece which is why I cut these in now. So what I want to go ahead and do is I want to delete some of these faces off especially where we have this hole, the speaker hole, and the button hole. So if we go ahead and delete these you can see that these are now fairly circular and they're going to be you know what we want so let's just go ahead and adjust this just a little bit more so it's a little more open here okay so now that we have those cut in what I want to do is I want to go into face selection mode here and I'm going to select all the faces for the screen or what would be the actual um, glass and screen here. So I'm going to go into my marquee select tool and just try and be careful here is I don't want to select anything that's not going to be geometry that we're going to be using. So we'll go ahead and select that. Select these ones. Same faces here on the bottom just trying to be a little bit careful here select those and now there's a couple ways that we can go ahead and do this the easiest way is probably going to be and the smartest way is probably going to be duplicate the faces and then move them in and place them as we need or you can simply just extract this and then duplicate the faces so what I think will be best for us is if we just simply go ahead and du duplicate these faces because we're going to have to add geometry underneath of these anyway so let's just go ahead and duplicate these faces okay center the pivot and clear the history and we're going to add this to its own layer or a new layer and we'll just try and keep organized here and we'll call these um, faces back up I spelled that wrong but that's okay and then we'll just go ahead and reselect these ones as that would at first one will end up being our glass and this is going to be the actual body part here so let's go ahead and select these ones and just trying to be mindful and, and reselect all the same faces that we had before and that we just duplicated so we'll go ahead and reselect here just trying not to select anything that we don't need
Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and, since we have all these selected, we're going to go ahead and extrude in first. And if you look at an iPhone, we're not going to be extruding in a lot, so that's probably enough right there. You know what, let's just go ahead and extract these. Deselect, and we're just going to go ahead and center the pivot here. And just move this over to say negative 25. And then we'll go ahead and select the border edge here. And we'll just go ahead and extrude this, this in. And then we can just replace it. And then I'm going to extrude in again. So I can sort of close that hole off a little bit. So we aren't going to get any like temporary shadows or any weird shadows. And I want it to be, you know, light closed. So we'll go ahead and add a, another edge loop here so that it's going to maintain its shape. And as you can see there, it's going to maintain its shape fairly well. Okay, so now we're going <coughs> to basically make the body here. And we're going to go ahead and remove this back to zero. And we have to go ahead and push this in just a little bit so that we can have some depth on the iPhone face there. And you just have to be careful because this is definitely a somewhat complex model. Um, there's definitely a lot of mechanical stuff going on here and we just have to be very careful of what we do. So we're going to add another edge loop here on the main front side of the face so that this is going to maintain its shape and its hard edge. Okay, so now we need to go ahead and make our screen here. And that would be face selection mode here and we just need to select where the actual faces of the screen are here. and that looks good and let me go ahead and select that face there and I'm not going to use the, ex um, the extrude tool here I'm actually going to be using the inset tool which was a custom tool written by um, I don't remember the name I actually downloaded it off of creativecrash.com where you can download thousands and thousands of different Maya Mel scripts or Python scripts to help speed up your workflow and <laughs> um, I won't be including that so if you just uh, search on Creative Crash you should be able to find it and this is similar to the actual inset tool that's in Max it's just been converted over to Maya so I'm going to go ahead and use our inset tool and I'm going to inset a little bit here and this is going to help because whenever I need to go ahead and make the actual rubber grommet for the screen I can just simply duplicate those faces and add a little bit of thickness to it so then we can actually have that rubber grommet and it's going to be that much easier to go ahead and make instead of having it having to mull it from scratch. And now with those faces selected I'm going to go ahead and extract these. So now you can see that we have one, two, and three different pieces for the front of the iPhone here. And in the next lesson we're going to go ahead and continue detailing this so that then we can you know make sure that we have our screen properly pl placed and everything else